Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. This is Jerry from Bullshit Corner. In today's video, we're going to revisit the diesel heater. Before we get back to work in the Jeep, we're gonna finish the deficiencies that we had on our trip and some issues. And we're gonna talk about that now before we get back into it. So as I discussed in the video, that overheat code is probably from the air intake being inside the case, which I bought this one inch tube. And I did keep the little breather, which we're going to have to come through the case and come up the top. But that's not the only thing that we're going to do. What I picked up off Amazon, this is a wiring harness that's been left over from who knows what. This is a switch we're going to install in the case. I got these fans, so I'm going to install one. But what I got in this bag is a little little temperature control so it's got like a board and what it does is that it's got a temperature probe if you can see it to the plastic there you can set it so that when it reaches a certain temperature the fan can come on and i'm going to have it on a switch the reason for that is is that with the solar battery in the winter time i need to conserve as much power as i can so if i could run the heater without activating that that would be perfect but if I do have issues with overheating, I just have to open up my tent, come outside, turn on the switch, back in business. So the question is, do I want the fan to suck or push? And I think the way I'm going to set it up, just because I'm using it in the wintertime, is that I'm going to have it to suck in and blow cold air in the case. I think that's going to be beneficial for me. To take the cold air because when i'm going to be able to cap it's going to be like minus 10 and sucking that cold air in should cool it down quick enough for that temperature probe to shut down and then get back to business if that's the case so what are the we're going to look at that in just a little bit but let's get set up with this and figure out how i'm going to run this this tube with the case how i'm going to wire everything back up again and see what's going to happen with the case open, I did forget to mention that we had a pinhole leak. And I'm going to correct any further issues with that is I got this rubber hose that we're going to cut, splice down the middle and put over top, especially on this line right here. I could use some heat shielding on that or on here because the issue we had when the tank flooded with diesel I had some issues that line was a little bit longer and even though I had this exhaust wrapped the band got hot so the fuel line touched the metal band was enough to put a pinhole leak in it and just kind of looking around for some good spots of where I'm going to put the fan I was thinking about there but I think I'm going to mount the fan right behind the exhaust and I also noticed this because I'm thinking this could have an issue with it being hot too, is that that flange is loose, so we'll have an air leak. Yeah, I must have totally forgot to tighten that one up. Let's see. Definitely gonna go up to there. Need probably about that much hose. So the hose is one inch. So what's my outside diameter gonna be? Uh, roughly, probably one and a quarter. There's no going back now. There we go. Uh, let's see if I can get this hose fed in here. And this should take care of the heating issues slash the flame burnout when it gets too windy because it'll be protected now. There we go. I got the air intake on. Couldn't get a clamp on that, but it's not gonna go nowhere. Now with the fuel line, I got two pieces of hose here. 
that I cut, I'm gonna slide over here. And as you can see, that one there is kind of dark, probably from the heat. I got a longer hose that I'm gonna feed on there and that'll take care of the issue of any more problems with that hose. So now I'm gonna show you this. This has got a temperature probe, I just got it all wired up. I just got my fan temporary wired up. And if I wanna set my temperature, I press this far left button right now. I have it set for 16 degrees. Just so I can show you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold that probe. The temperature is gonna go up. It just clicked in. See the fans running. It has memory too. So let me just bring the probe over here to the fan so it'll cool down quicker. Sixteen two. There we go, we just turned off. And it automatically retains the temperature that you program in, so I don't need a switch. Okay, now it's time to do some testing. I got some two-way tape to go on the side of the case. Thermal probe is just gonna sit right there. Probably gonna set my temperature for about 25 degrees. There's my fan, everything's wired in soldered in gonna be the moment of truth see if it's gonna work ah, let me get a flashlight here it's gonna be dark it's it dark this time of year so okay we got power gonna open up the case now going to set the temperature probably 25 degrees is what I'm gonna set it at and set's telling me right now it's like 8.9 degrees so I mean, once it's running too, I can just open up the case. So now, let's come back up over here. Let's get her going. It's just got fired up. Yeah, burner's still in the... Oh, I should start seeing some heat now. But that nozzle should make a huge difference. I start to feel the heat. Do a check. Hot air, I got the pump. Crank right up. 5.4. So like 15 degrees in the case now. It's currently 33 degrees in there. Fan is running. First off, I'm going to say I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm not disappointed in the way the controller works. I'm disappointed in the fan. So I got a blower fan coming in. 12 volt, 0.35 of an amp. Uh, it's going to be here in a few days. So I'm going to take that fan out. Replace it with a blower fan. Probably up by temperature to about 30 degrees because I got it set at like 26 right now and the case seems to run at about 33, 34 degrees, full blast. So I think I'm going to, like I said, boost it up 30 degrees with a blower fan. It's gonna move a lot more air. That computer fan does not really move a bunch of air at all to make any kind of difference. However, moving the air intake to the outside made a huge difference. I can run it at full blast with the case closed 
and it doesn't heat up because it's sucking in cold air from the outside or inside it's sucking in hot air which increases the combustion temperature quite rapidly so i'm gonna wait we're gonna get the new fan we're gonna test the fan before we install it and then if everything checks out we're gonna stick it in retest and see what's gonna happen all right the new fan came in i went with the turbo style fan before i go about removing the old one we're gonna hook this one up to a power source and we're gonna see if it's any good because the one i got doesn't move too much air and that's not gonna do too much for the case but i think this one here will do the trick so i just got wired up to 12 volt power source on my bench which is powered on Oh yeah, that's moving some air. You can blow stuff around with this, look at that. It's even got so much force, it's blowing itself across the cardboard. Yeah, that's gonna be a hundred times better. Got my changes set, this is the old fan. I mean, it doesn't move as much air as what the turbo fan does. Not for my application. So these are the changes I did. So we know from the FLIR video a while ago, all the heat readings from this corner here. So I put eight quarter inch holes. So that when the turbo fan is blowing, I got to mount it so that it's going to suck cold air in. From the grate blow it down to the exhaust and hopefully come up to this side here help dissipate some heat where i got the temperature probe over here on this side i didn't have the bolts to a long enough little screws to mount it so i'm using some radiator zip ties so to speak until i can get some bolts but we're gonna set this out again do some more testing set up so what I want to do is change the temperature I got it set for 25 but for testing purposes I gotta lower the temperature let's go 19 out in the bush I'll have it like 30 degrees All right, let's fire it up. Right now, I can hear the fan going. Does it use up too much more power? No, it seems to be about the same. Let's crack this open. Turn down the pump, shut her down. Never gonna run full blast anyways. There we go. Furnace is still on cool down, but the internal fan inside is shut down in the winter time i don't think the fan will run that much anyways it's warm out today it's like plus 12 degrees normally it can't be like minus 10 so it's going to make a huge difference in the end i'm pretty happy with it i just got to buy some longer bolts i got some 832 nuts right there the bolts i bought were inch and a half i need something that's like an inch and three quarters or two inch depends what size they come in then get rid of these radiator zip ties because they don't 
work was a dam. What would I do different? If I was to do this all over again, probably only have the one vent on the bottom and then vents up top with a couple fans. So it would suck air from the bottom, blow it out the top. But the way I got it set up right now with that turbo fan that blows air this way, once the heater shut down, it was only like a couple minutes later that the case temperature dropped down and turned off. I got it set for 30 degrees once again. Got to test that once we're out in the field. I got some holes on the side here. I don't think it's going to be a big problem when I'm out camping because it's going to be like minus 10 or colder at nighttime. So, I mean, I can run it full blast already just by moving the intake outside. So I think I'm going to be good. That being said, I think it's motherfucking beer time. Back on the Jeep in the next video. Going to finish off the brake situation. That's what the game plan is. Looking forward to taking this thing out for a rip again. Anyways, cheers, everybody. Oh, motherfucking beer time. That's a nice cold beer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video series. And if you got anything from it, I'd like to know in the comments below what you guys would do differently or how your setup is. Anyways, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.